Hey, you Jubei Odoi. So today I'm going to be talking about sexual dimorphism. Now, if you don't know what that means, sexual dimorphism is literally just the difference between the genders of animals. Now, it's not just sexual organs. It could be physical appearance. It can be behavioral. It, it, it's, it's basically any, any sort of difference between a male and a female. All right. So there's different types of sexual dimorphism. There's size, there's coloration, as I said, behavior, patterns, and secondary characteristics such as like antlers or breasts. And there are different reasons why sexual dimorphism is the way it is. And I'll, I'll explain as I go on, all right? Be patient. So first, I'm gonna talk about sexual dimorphism in the insect world. Now in the insect world, usually females are larger and more aggressive than males. And you're probably asking, why are females bigger? Well, it's due to the fact that they lay eggs. And when it comes to insects, they lay a lot of eggs. Now, when it comes to being more aggressive, they need to remind the weak male that they're always, always in charge. You know, I would really love for a six foot two, 200 pound woman built like a wrestler, specifically like China. I would love for a woman like that, you know, to just pin me on the wall and choke me and stare me down in the eyes, telling me you've been a naughty little boy. I love for her to assert her dominance and just remind me that I'm weak, that I'm a little boy. I love for her to body slam me on the bed and for her to, you know, put me in a little submission for me to tap out so she can win the championship, you know? Hey, right, next, sexual dimorphism in fish. Now, it's basically identical to insects. Females are bigger than the males in most cases, though. And again, the reason why females are bigger, it's due to reproduction. Now, reproduction takes a lot in females, obviously, so they have to have a slower metabolism, which makes them bigger. And angler fish are one of the best examples of sexual dimorphism in general, because males are basically parasites. They're much, much smaller, and they bite the female and literally fuse with the female, and they're just there to reproduce. Literally, that's all they do. Next, I'm gonna talk about reptiles. Now, there's gonna be a little change. In reptiles, males are usually bigger, but that's only in lizards, usually bigger. Other cases, like snakes and gators, crocs, turtles, all of that, usually the female is bigger. Now, males do have bigger heads while females have a larger trunk, and a trunk is the distance between their hind legs and again, the reason why females are bigger is because of egg laying and they also have to carry their clutch once they hatch. Well, not sea turtles though, because sea turtles have a brutal life. And I'm not gonna talk about that because that is a whole different topic. Next, I'm gonna be talking about the mammal world. And usually in the mammal world, males are the bigger ones. And males are usually bigger because of sexual selection and they exploit more resources. Males are also larger because at the end of the day, females want the larger and more dominant male. That's just how it works. And the larger he is, the more dominant he seems, meaning that reproduction will be more successful. And there are many, many examples of sexual dimorphism in mammals. I can be here all day, but I'll only give a few. I'll only give a few. Well, let me start off with lions. Male lions have a mane while females don't. Male deer have antlers while females don't. All female mammals have larger breasts. Male mandrills have a colorful face, while females don't really have that much color on their faces. Male elephant seals are larger and have a large proboscis. And male orangutans have a cheek pouch, while females do not. And I also did make an orangutan video. You should really check that out. Finally, I'm going to talk about sexual dimorphism in birds. Now, birds are one of the most sexually dimorphic animals on the planet, and males are usually larger than the females, and also usually are more colorful with longer tail feathers. Males use these colorful patterns and long tail feathers, obviously, to attract a female. Peacock showing off their feathers to a female. Bird of paradise dancing and showing off its colorful pattern. You got pheasants that show off their tail feathers. Cockatiels having a whole white face with a bit of yellow. Mallards having a green head and yellow bills. And all of these are males. As I, as I said, they are more colorful than females. And I mentioned the bird of paradise and the peacock in my bird video, which you should also check out, obviously, after this video though. And I briefly did mention behavior in insects with the females being more aggressive, because you know how long on a six foot two tall wrestler type. Well, anyways, I'll, I'll give some more sexual dimorphic behaviors. Male mammals are usually roaming around the world I don't want to say the world, but you get what I mean. They roam around, they mark areas with urine, which becomes their territory. 
male birds produce songs to attract other females and earlier i did mention the bird of paradise dancing some birds also do that and you got females building nests while most males just leave and find their next victim i mean their next mate my bad pretty interesting because people a lot of people specifically black people love doing that hold on hold on hold on i just heard you comparing black people to animals and with that sir i could say that you are a very very smart individual because the black man is an animal black people in general are disgusting animals and it make no damn sense to me why they got they freedom I don't understand. I don't understand. You see, you got male animals walking from female to female. It's just like black men. Black men, they go from one woman to another woman. And then you got one woman with like five baby daddies. Like the disgusting whores they are. Oh, it really pissed me off. Oh, they, make, they, they really make me so angry. I, I believe they really should go back to the fans. Anyways, I'm sorry for the interruption, but with everything that I just said, that's all I got for y'all, so I'm out.